there's been times in my life where I've gotten like hyper focused and just obsessed about certain things. Yeah. And, you know, I was like 205, 208 at my heaviest when I was a sophomore in college when I was playing football. And yep. it was literally just like eating, lifting, and drinking beer on the weekend. All life. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> and I was super strong, but. I wasn't as like athletic and I w couldn't well, move yeah. as well. And, you know, while I was strong and I, I liked feeling strong, I, I realized that like, oh man, I'm like super bloated and like all this stuff. And then when I was a junior and I went home for COVID happened my junior year of college. So once I got home, I was like, all right, I need to like, I need to lose some weight. I need to yeah. lose some weight here. I'm like 205. I'm not playing football right now. I was just coming off of a back injury and I was like super obsessed with like fitness and wellness and nutrition and all the things. And I'm an idiot. And I would watch like these like fitness YouTubers and they were like bodybuilders. And, but I didn't yeah. know the difference between like bodybuilding and like just general health and fitness or whatever. And so I was watching these bodybuilders and it was like, they're everything I eat in a day. And they would be eating like, you know, and following that, they'd be oh, eating yeah. like 1800 calories, only getting like 30 grams of fat in. And like, I thought like fat was like the worst thing in the world just because of watching these things. And so then I like crash dieted and I got down to all the way to like 180, which I'm about 180 right now, but I'm yeah. much like healthier 180 at this point. But all that to just say is sometimes it may look like you're doing all the right things and everything's healthy. And it's not. Yeah, I mean, you bring up kind of two points here. So before I get into how I went too far, um, like the fact of social media, people are looking to whoever you look up to in social media, your big like heroes or whoever you want to look like, and they're not showing you everything. Like you don't see what they're doing the other 23 hours of the day or whatever. Um, like those... I, it kind of irks me for the like the day full day of eating <laughs> because one they're probably not showing you exactly what they're eating or maybe that's what they ate that day because they knew that they were recording um but it's also like you can't plug and play that for everybody because just i mean men and women completely different we need so many different things because of our hormones because of like our height and weight our metabolism there's so many factors that go into it to make it different and then if you're a female like just your height if you have different stressors going on if you like there's a million different things so what i'm going to be eating in a day doesn't mean that you should be eating that too um and I, that goes for workouts too like you have to find it's a one size fits one what works for your body? What are your goals? What are you trying to do? And like really work that to make it work for you and what you're trying to accomplish. So um, I obviously look up to a lot of people on social media and that's how I got started and that's what I use for inspiration. But I definitely learned the hard way, like don't do exactly what you're seeing on social media because you never know what's going on behind the scenes. and it's probably not going to work the same for you.